Whoa. There's the raise from Altman. This is turning ugly real fast. Shrelitz makes the call immediately and is going to relinquish many of his chips to Brian Altman. Alex raising it up with Jack 8 off suit. Tony Dunst. Looks like he's just going to make the call here with King 9 off suit. So this is a bit uh, the next chapter, I guess, between these two. The flop. Oh, wow. A, a Queen 10 Jack flop. So. All right, Joe, here we go again. Talk us through. What's going on? Well, obviously, Tony's flopped the second nuts here. No. All he can think about now how, is how he can extract value. And Alex is not really going anywhere um, with a pair and a straight draw. Alex checks. Tony prepares some chips and fires. 245 in the middle. And he makes it 135,000, like you said. Alex with a pair and a straight draw. Doesn't look like he's going anywhere. I think he ha he's always going to peel one off here. It's hard to fall to one bet. Well, Tony must be thinking, thank goodness, I want to get some of those chips back from the last hand. He makes the call. We go to a turn. It is a king. Oh, wow. This just kills the action. Incredible. Like, what a card. This just destroys Tony's hand because Alex being the pre-flop aggressor, he can quite easily have an ace here. Good bet. I like it. He's representing what he's supposed to be having here. I like Which this bet. Which is an ace. I, li right. I like this bet a lot. He's putting the pressure on Tony. I like this bet a lot. And look and at Tony that look just from wants Tony. To throw up. <laughs> like, how do you find that king? He's saying to himself, you know. Well, he's going to make him prove it, though, doesn't he? Well, he really here's is. the thing. Tony can't really fold. He can't just believe him. Yeah. He's got to um, put him to the test. And now the pressure is doesn't change anything, right? Yeah, the well, river. the pressure's on, on Alex now. If Alex can fire a big bet, he'll win this pot. Now, Because Alex, it's, a, it's a chop at the moment. There's no question about it, right? If, they, if it goes check, check. Alex looks at his chips. He looks like he might be about to do that. And Tony Dunst is staring at him, saying, please don't tell me you have an ace. And look at this. He's doing exactly what you said, Joe. He's going to fire. Tony Dunst is going to hate that. It's kind of smells of a value bet, which Tony will sense that. And oh god, he wants me to pay him off for his ace. Now I'm going to save the four hundred thousand. He bets into me on the turn. Yeah, there's a straight on the board. I'm supposed to call here most yeah, of the right. time. Most of the players at home going, why doesn't he call? Why doesn't he call? Is it because of the bet on the turn? Because he made a fold, and it is the correct fold, right? Because the story makes sense. Yeah, that's right. I'm the pre-flop aggressor. The king came on the turn. I've got. I have an ace. I'm going to try and get maximum value out of you. I don't want you to check behind me on the turn. Sam Greenwood at a significant chip disadvantage. First to act here. 9-7 off. He calls. Fedor with queen four in the big blind. Checks his option. No reason to make this pot any bigger. Well, the flop gives Sam second pair. Fedor with a flush draw and a no good gut shot. I already don't like where this is headed for Sam. Well, he is a 55% favorite here. He bets 300,000. Yeah, I've heard that one before. With his draw, Holtz calls. So many bad cards for Sam on the turn. Well, that's actually a great card for Sam and a horrible card for Fedor. He has the baby end of the straight. Sam has the daddy end. For once. Greenwood now a 75% favorite. About to bet again. 625K. Now, obviously, when Fedor calls here, it's not because of the baby straight. It's the heart draw. I'm sorry. Did I need to specify that? It would have helped. The river card. It's a heart. Fedor gets there again. Oh, my goodness, Fedor. Please stop. You know, I thought uh, these guys might have been here to rail you, but now I think they're here to take you away like 11 from Stranger Things. He's 
just too powerful. And Fedor's going to lead the river. 2.3 million in the middle. He bet 625,000. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> He's got a call. The literal cycle from Sam Greenwood. And what can he do here? I mean, Fedor's running so golden. Definitely some frustration involved there. Kevin just calls with Jax. Put. And Charlie raises with Jack 10. Charlie is really swinging for the fences. If you notice, he's constantly trying to isolate Kevin, kind of like me backstage. What's that, 100? Fuck. Regret. How much does he want now? Does your regret everything? How much money do you want? <laughs> it's big enough. You to no regret rien, yeah, darling. <laughs> this hand's really bad. I'm just going to fold. All right, I'm going to make it 17. What? No. <laughs> yeah. Go get him. Punish. This is how you make your money back, Charlie. Or not. Can't Don't keep folding. Oh, he said yes. <laughs> I got Charlie I'm again. Sorry. Only for you. I got Charlie again. Oh, no, you don't. Charlie flops the joint. Let me make sure it's what I think it is before I accidentally do something stupid. Okay. All right, it is. <laughs> I'll check. <laughs> you call a Jack-10 hoping to hit the nuts, and it's hard to believe it when you do. 2,000. <laughs> you need the glasses. I mean, I don't think there's a, any reason for me to call here. <gasps> oh, I think that's man. the worst flop that you can possibly ask for. Today. Yeah, for me too. <laughs> Zonas has Jack-8 in the big blind. He's on his calls as well, three way to the flop. And that flop <laughs> is 10, 9, 7. Zonis flops it. And Shemian has a gut shot to a better straight. Yeah, I mean, I think the reason why it looks like your Zonis is going to lead into the pre flop razor is because he feels like this is the kind of board that's going to get checked around a lot. And leading can actually look a little bit weaker than obviously what he has. It looks more like, you know, protecting top pairs or a pair in a straight draw. Doesn't really look like you flopped a joint. 150K from Yazonis, called by Shemian. Salah gets out of the way and it's heads up to the turn. It brings a five on the turn, which would have been a set for Salah. He saved himself by not getting involved post-flop. Honglin folded 8-6, which would be in really big trouble right now, too. Although he would have a straight flush draw. Zonis fires again 375,000 into 630,000. Called by Shemian. But it's the <laughs> eight that comes on the river. There's our answer to how good Shemian's running today. Shemian swag factor, eight out of ten. As Yazonis bets 725,000. And Shemian's sitting there with the nuts, right? Yes, and he has, you know, 3.18 million in chips total. And he's just thinking about a sizing that is going to get paid off. I don't think all in is that sizing. And Yozonas' hand looks pretty strong here. To think that Yozonas is betting three streets after this kind of run out, Shemian has to believe he has a straight. So why is all in not the not the because move. he blocks the nut straight is the problem. I mean, yes, Yozonis could have the same hand in this spot, but a lot of times he could have a hand like Jack-10. Well, how much is that? 2.5 million. Whew. <laughs> Looked like he was going to... Oh! It's a fold. Wow. 
Well, Shemian. Wow. Takes the chip lead. Brian Altman in the big blind, eight six of spades. Sixty thousand to call, almost four hundred thousand in the middle. Altman does come along for the ride. Four hundred fifty thousand in the middle. Jack nine eight, queen ten, flops a straight. Ninety percent favorite. Top pair for La Duceur. Bottom pair for Altman. A little something for everyone. Danger, Will Robinson. Oh. Strelitz does not continue. Oh man, this is trouble for Lotus Sir. This is real trouble for Lotus Sir. This is kind of when you think, okay, the pre-flop raiser checks. Now let's try to extract the most money from the big blinds. Ooh, spade draw now. Now Altman with a spade draw. My goodness. King of spades on the river for pure insanity. <laughs> Migs Max on Twitch says this hand is done. I smoke regs says rip. <laughs> K Map says here we go. Ed K says exclamation point entries. <laughs> Magic says allez le bleu. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, a really safe card here for uh, Mark Andre. I wonder what he decides to do. I mean, if the pre flip raiser delay bets this board, I mean. You know he's not going to have Ace King, so I'd be a little bit hesitant to just rip it in over this one. Seven hundred. Whoa! There's the raise from Altman. This is turning ugly real fast. Oh my God! And this this might save a lot of sir actually, because Strelitz with a bet in and now to call. I mean that's going to show so much strength. So I mean these would have to be two guys that are bluffing for Ladusser to be good. You're not even talking about raising. You're just saying even a call here, maybe Ladusser doesn't put another chip in this pot. Yeah, I think he should be really scared here. Forget also not. <laughs> All right, Yoda, slow down. No, but if you're uh, <laughs> if you're uh, if you're up against a big blind that raises this board, he has almost every single two pair combination. Right. Queen ten, ten seven. Yeah. Now Mark Andre's like, what? Yeah. What? But it still takes a lot of discipline because you're so short. And everyone is putting a lot of chips in this pot with me, Hymanoli, with just 10 big blinds. Yeah. There's the full from gets Mark Andre. It. Very nice. Crucial river card right now. King oh. of spades. It is the king of spades. Wow, this is sickness. Twitch chat is going crazy. Spadaru. Malcado says, runner, runner. It's Jim Leahy says, holy sure. 650. Altman and Chino, oh, heads up, no. says Gloversville. Jake Redblood says, what a hand. So sick. So, so sick. Shrelitz makes the call immediately. Oh, man. And is going to relinquish many, many of his chips to Love Brian it. Altman. And a spade, too. If you, if you hear the, oh, oh that's so sick, you sick. wish you'd bet more. Right. Well, he got called very quickly. Mm-hmm.